Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron to Diamond. We return Platinum World Zero OP. If I did end up uploading that Draven Draven game, which I think I'm going to, because it's a great example of just kind of like accepting, because it's something that normally YouTubers don't upload. It's like just accepting. It's a loss. Um, but anyway, this game we're playing Brand, and I did uh, purposely queue up as a support because in this like return to Iron to Diamond where we're playing bot lane, I've been queuing up as AD carry and support and not getting support once. Uh, here's very quickly, though, the loading stats. So Ezreal, that's a pretty, well, good KD, but terrible win rate. So that maybe shows he's good, but it isn't committed to carry. Like, he just pokes. Uh, you've got these guys that I think are duo, potentially, but he's a one-trick nah. You've got this guy who's called Shaco uh, in the clan clone. And he's playing Pantheon, you know, as as you would. Um, doesn't seem to be terrible on Ori, but is a jungle main. Riven doesn't play Riven, which is a bit worrying. A negative win rate, quite bad uh, win rate on there on Kaiser. So... This game should be interesting. Let's hopefully I'll have a good one. And the idea of playing Brand is to hopefully show you guys... Wrong thing. Uh, hopefully show you guys how to take over the lane. Now the risk, obviously, of playing against the Thresh is if you get hit by a hook, you could just go boom. You could just die. Um, but hopefully we won't. Hopefully we can just avoid it and just do all the DPS. And bada bing bada boom. We've got the minion in the jungle. Again, I kind of want Vision here, but he's standing there. I'm going to stand, like, right here, which is risky, because they could walk here and then hook. Kaiser's not here at the moment, which is a bit annoying. It's a pretty cool skin, yeah. I like it. Conqueror and Conqueror. Why did them two have Conqueror? That's quite weird. Hmm. Little dance. Oh, it's the same dance as he's always had. Just looks a bit cooler. Who's she duo with? Kaisa's duo with the Panth. Okay, she's here now, but a little bit late. Oh, man. I've got sausage stuck in my teeth. <laughs> oh, that looks really nice. Don't know if I've ever used this skin. Maybe I've used it once. I don't really remember, though. God damn it. I'll have to go floss after this game. She wasn't going to get that one. Okay. Okay, I can't get poked like a million times. Uh-oh. Oh, he was just collecting soul. Oh my god, I got hit by three in a row. I'm bad. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I want to push this and get level 2 before them. I think they could be... Ooh. Oh, yeah, they're duo. They hit level 2 before us. Wow, that's really bad. Got it. No, what are you doing? Rengar flashed. Whoa! Hello! What the hell just happened? That was terrible by my Kaiser. Oh god, why did she do that? Okay, let's leave. Woo! She really wanted that kill? Yeah, there was no need. We, she was already dead. 100% was dead. Remember, that's a, a Gnar one trick versus... Oh! So Gnar one trick versus somebody that doesn't play Riven. That shows how useful Gnar is at the moment. <laughs> Alright, this game. Holy moly. Imagine the flame. Hey, remember, we've got chat turned off. It's such a better experience. League is such a better experience with chat turned off. Which is really sad, but it also speaks volumes that Riot doesn't do anything about toxicity. When a multiplayer game is more fun to play when you don't have to listen to other players, there's a problem. But it is. I'm not going to hide that away. There's a way to turn it off. Yeah, I'll just make it show people. So you go options, interface, and then here you click those off. And then you do not have chat anymore. I probably should be helping. Hmm. I'm not going to throw the control ward in yet. 
But yeah, I'd recommend it. Even if you just get rid of all chat, and I know the, the the annoying thing when it comes to chat in League, I for years have used it as a way to know who's tilted. If someone's raging in all chat, I know, oh, kill that person a lot and they're going to rage quit. But it's not worth, like, your mental gets affected when you're seeing rage. You, it just It's depressing to watch. Um, so I've just cut it out now. I'm like, right, see you later, bud. Corrupting first item, yep. Again, brand support is a bit unique. I'm not here to be, like, an actual support. I'm here to, like, deal damage. Bah humbug. Sorry, if I keep touching my mouth, it's because I ate a sausage. And now I've got sausage stuck in my mouth. Nice. Some people may be wondering why not Dark Harvest, by the way, as Twitch chat did. Uh, Dark Harvest is good if you know you're going to scale, but I'm here to try and bully the lane. Arcane Comet's better for bullying the lane. Plus, you know, it's still fine for later. Damn, Kaiser should have done a little bit of damage return there. That was all damage on me and no damage on them. Wow. Obviously, as I've said, uh, I think I said right away, the, the risk of this game is I'm brand immobile versus a Thresh hooks. That is, like, it's a natural little counter, nice. It's a natural little counter because I'm immobile, but we've just got to avoid it as much as we can. And if I do get caught out, you're basically hoping, we're basically hoping that Kaisa, you know, is awake enough, basically nice, to do damage while I'm getting hooked. Because if they focus her, then I go on them. If they focus me, she goes on them. It's what we've spoken about recently when it comes to pressure of a, a support. Um, a pressure of support, I exist to just be an option to attack. If they're attacking me, then they're not attacking my AD carry, and that's the most important thing for me as a support. A lot of supports don't get that. Unfortunately. Because if I was back here, then they the only person that they could attack is Kaiser, which is not good. Oh god. That was weird. It's like my Q didn't want to go off, but then it did go... Uh, my E didn't want to go off, but then it did go off. Odd. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling Rengar could be bot. But I also feel at the same time that we could beat them in a 2v3. If I'm honest. Because I've got double summon, so... Hello. Lol. I don't know if Thresh was AFK baiting or typing or what. I told you. That was a really weird. But yeah, even if Pantheon wasn't there, we still beat them in a 2v3. Yeah, I can kill. I can stun her. And then she's not even coming. Cool. He was flaming the Rengar, probably. Pantheon, hello. Oh, I forgot about EZ. Probably his best ability nowadays. A tank ability. One more plate, one more plate. I won't Kianst. Welcome, dude. Uh, four months of Twitch pro- uh oh Eh. I think the heal would have been better to speed me up before I got damaged to try and get me to the tower. Oh, why did you walk back in? No, I so mucked up. That wasn't great, has to be said. I am the fire that cleanses the world. Oh well. Yeah, it happens. It's fine. We've been playing well so far, so one mistake is not the worst thing in the world. Or she could have just left me to die. Either or would have been okay. 
I think if you if, again, if you always talk about playing a perfect situation, if we both played that perfectly, there was a world there that neither of us died and we killed them. That that did exist. Also, avoid that bush. Uh, that world I think did exist, but that would have had to make us both play literally perfectly. Which you know, is that realistic? Probably not. Hopefully you're dead. Okay, at least I got him. I uh, that Oriana was a little bit alone, uh, too alone. Let's be honest. Yep. That'll leave a mark. Just take tower plates. If Rengar comes right now, we might be okay. Because if he goes for me, I can stop watch his damage, and that's a big blow for Rengar. Not in my combo very often, so that's a bad thing from me. Brand support is fun. Yeah, it's effective is what I'd say. Okay, I got wards finally. Uh-oh. Woo! Nice. So this Thresh is pretty easy to bait. You just walk forward. He'll throw his hook out every time. I've got ult soon. Like, with ign ultimate ignite on that Ezreal, with a maybe if I hit one ability, W, E, or Q, I think he'd be dead. Nice. Worth. You know, kill this. Alright, we've done really well in bot lane. So again, what you've seen this in this lane phase, I am 3-1, and one, which I didn't really realise, but this is all about pressure. We've just dominated the lane and we've killed a tower really early by just being annoying. Being in their face. If you notice most of this lane phase, I'm in front of the Kaiser. I'm not behind her, I'm not level to her often. I'm a lot of the time in front of her. Alright, let's uh, move the topic along, guys. I don't like to see that stuff in the chat. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sweet. Oh, so she's 0 3, I didn't notice. 0 2, 0 0 4, never mind. And that was a 1v1 kill with an Oriana who is not known, obviously, to beat people. Where are you going? An enemy has been slain. Don't, why are you going bot lane? Support, by the way. <laughs> Nearly one shot a Rengar support. Support, support brand. Crazy. Did I see the F2 crash? Yep. Is Oriana serious? He's like, why are you guys top? Like, why are you guys mid? Uh, well, we destroyed bot lane. Like, hello. You want to kill that? Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay, that Thresh did not move. He did not move in the way that I thought he was going to move. What is this Oriana doing? Ay, yeah, yeah. And there's no one to take farm, take it yourself. <laughs> Damn it. Um I need my Kaiser. I want a short fuse. She's not it's not the best to know where to go, this guy, so it has to be said. Mm 
Because Rengar probably... Okay, he's doing Dragon. Okay. Mm. Wow. Zero, five. Whoa, hello. Found him. Found the Ezra. Uh-oh. Didn't get my ultimate off. Damn it. It works out. Oh, ooh, Kaiser nearly got killed. All right, cool. This game's going pretty well. Damn. We didn't have enough damage to kill the Rengar before I died. That sucks. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna sell the corrupting now. I think I don't need it. I was just using it for lane phase poke and like when it, if occasionally when I got hooked by a, a thresh, I could use the corrupting to regen quite a lot. We're out of lane phase, so I don't need regen anymore. They should commit to that. They have to. Uh, Cassio is having a very bad game. Again, Cassio, similar, proper, uh, similar properties to a brand. If you have a bad game on a brand or a Cassio, you're, you're immobile. You've got no jump, no dash, nothing. So you just, if you're having a bad game, you just get caught over and over and over again. And when you're really weak, well, you just keep dying over and over and over again. So it's quite unfortunate, but it's just the way of champion design. <laughs> oh, it's seven fifty. I thought that was six fifty. Hmm. I think I am going to be the primary target for Rengar to jump on. By the way, at least for now. So I am kind of expecting. Yeah, here we go again. I am expecting my deaths to climb. Oh! -ho -ho! That was what, a 4v4? 4v3? I don't know. Because they had not. Okay, yeah, that was a 4v4 in the end. We lost one, they lost three. Yeah, that was a good Pantheon ult. It did, like, no damage, but, again, it's not designed to anymore. It's designed just to make them go, Ah, run away! <clears throat> I'm definitely the support this game. I'm not trying to take farm. Oh, whoa. Did she one-shot? I think she did. Okay. Riven is literally like doing whatever she wants. <laughs> wow, this Riven. Is she is like someone said what happened? Oh. Someone mentioned that she might have been a Smurf. Maybe. Um she uh yeah, maybe. Sixty four percent win rate in eighty eight games with no ranked history, so yeah, probably a Smurf. And again, that's a Smurf that doesn't even play Riven versus a platinum one nah one trick pony. So what I've said before, what being a one-trick doesn't mean you're amazing at the champion. Being an actual good player is more important. Um, like someone that is like, and I know this is going to offend some people. Someone who's a one-trick in silver, gold, maybe even platinum is not better than someone that's diamond that can play a diverse amount of champions that's picking up for the first time. Probably not better. Uh, or give it 10 minutes. So, yeah. Uh, Kelsor17, welcome back for 29 months. Thank you very much. Alright, we did something good, I guess. So we went 5 2 5, 26 farm. Uh, we got plus, uh, plus 19, which is not bad. Uh, you know, 0 7 thresh against us, so you could see the difference uh, of just pressure. You know, we got hooked a couple times, but it was just the damage that you can put down. And yes, do, do when it comes to support climbing, 
you have to be in charge of the lane, like I, I think we showed this game. But I do recommend just playing a damage support. We, we even questioned it not that long ago, and just, you know, should it be allowed? Well, right now it is allowed, obviously. Um, and it's just probably the best way to climb. So I do recommend, if you are wanting to climb a support, just play a damage support. Uh, but don't play like a dumb damage support. Don't play like Lux or something. Play something like Velkos or Brand that are not item dependent. Brand has percentage health damage. Velkos has got true damage. So they're not item dependent, just items helps them out. Uh, but anyway, there's the damage. So Riven does the most, then the Orianna, then me, then the Pantheon, and there's my Haiti carry. So there you go, folks. We're carrying the lane as bot lane, which is pretty fun to do. But if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on the video, throw a comment. And again, this was actually under 18 minutes, but this will probably be a separate video. Again, I'm just trying to collect content as much as I can. And again, this series is coming to an end pretty soon anyway, so we can have an episode each, each game. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.